Hey guys! Since many of you are afraid to start, have a fear of failure, self-judgment and blame yourself for not achieving a good enough result, in today's tutorial we are going to create an intuitive painting. It's suited to both beginning and advanced artists. In intuitive painting, the focus is on a personal exploration, self-discovery and the journey of the creation, rather than achieving a particular aesthetic result. It can be a therapeutic practice, as it enables artists to connect with our inner voice and emotions in a spontaneous and authentic manner. It allows us to create art in an unjudgmental way, granting the freedom to make mistakes. The concept behind intuitive painting is to let go of preconceived notions, expectations and limitations. Overall, intuitive painting encourages freedom, experimentation and a deep connection with oneself, making it a powerful tool for self-expression and a personal growth. I realized that almost every painting of mine is intuitive for the first 80%. That's why I love the initial stage of the artwork so much, where you can freely and widely pour paint on the canvas, and the Pareto principle begins to work. With just 20% of the effort, 80% of the artwork is done. I hope the intuitive painting method will also help you break free from the shackles of fear as it helped me.
I would say that at this stage the intuitive painting ended when I decided to make a focal point. You can stop here if you want your painting to be purely intuitive. And if you feel that you have uncovered your inner self, watch the dust of daily life of your soul. Remember not to criticize yourself for the result and accept it as it is. A long time ago I was taught this technique by my greatest art teacher. He stood next to me, ensuring that I didn't hesitate and repeatedly urged me to throw the paint onto the canvas. And it worked. Through this method he helped me overcome the fear of a blank canvas and experience true, like child joy in the process. However, I never developed an affection for the final stage of the painting when I meticulously analyze the composition and each color spot and carefully consider every brush stroke. And the brain just burns from the strain. What stage of the painting process do you enjoy the most? Or perhaps you prefer coming up with ideas? Write please your answer in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe, because more unique content is on the way. Here are the art supplies used. I'll leave links to the art supplies in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video up to the very end. Bye!